Uh, is my screen uh, visible to everybody? Is it clear? Yes, yes sir. Clear. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Are my phone no problem? Na, I'm here. You. Uh, at the outset, I would like to you know thank the organizer for providing me an, an uh, important opportunity to interact with the youngsters, next generation. Uh, I would like to share uh, the vast experience I have in this field for the past uh, more than 40 years. Uh, uh, many uh, pitfalls, uh, many difficulties we faced, and many successes we achieved. Uh, uh, well, many things we wanted to do and we did not do, but. Uh, 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 taking into consideration the tremendous amount of uh, progress that has been made in uh, uh, you know, basic sciences. Uh, so uh, the, the, uh, you will be surprised to see that uh, such a vast scope is there for uh, carrying out Ayurveda-based research, uh, for, even for the benefit of the mainstream. So uh, 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 my today's interaction will be mainly focused on uh, uh, what are the latest changes that have occurred and uh, uh, how uh, usefully they can be you know, uh, used for uh, uh, providing uh, what, you, what they call as evidence based for the progress of Ayurveda and universal acceptance. Uh, that, that doesn't mean that Ayurveda uh, is not having universal acceptance. It is already universally accepted, one of the best uh, you know, uh, 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 health uh, sciences, no doubt about it. But there are many sceptics, even in our own country, we, we, they want evidence for them. Uh, and to, not only for that, and to uh, you know, uh, bring the contemporary developments uh, for the benefit of Ayurveda, uh, the, 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 whatever improvements or the, the tremendous uh, development that have taken place in technology as well as research approach, the, the, I'm going to highlight uh, uh, on that. So we are in the field of uh, health uh, provi provision. So uh, uh, it is better to start uh, uh, by you know, focusing on the categories of health research and what is the status. Biomedical sciences, all, whatever uh, research we are doing at present is uh, purely under this setting. Biomedical sciences, all our uh, experimental standardization, clinical studies, uh, you name it, all, all of them uh, you know, come under this uh, purview of the, this category. Population sciences, including epidemiology, demography, socio behavioral sciences, we are very backward. India as a country is not uh, that developed. That means that, that, that they are not shown uh, the enough uh, uh, sufficient interest in this field, which is very, very important. That is being you know, uh, shown uh, in the context of the COVID 19 uh, you know, pandemic we are facing because we, we were not, we are not prepared uh, you know, uh, sufficiently well. But uh, we, we, are, we also forgotten that Ayurveda has got extraordinary, you know, guidelines uh, how to manage uh, uh, these pandemics. So, and health policy census. So this is another very very important. We you know we should know what the what type of uh, uh, health policies we need to adopt. You just cannot take any, you know, uh, implement any policy as per the whims and fancies of a few people sitting at the top. That is what exactly happening. You know, we do not have any policy research uh, center for Ayurveda. So there is policy research center for banking, economics, and many other fields. I don't know why it is not there for health sciences, especially for Ayurveda. So that is one of the most important uh, thing. And I request, uh, uh, you know, people like uh, you know, uh, Dr. Srinivas Prasad, uh, uh, Dr. Rajesh Koteja, and uh, others uh, who are uh, you know holding eminent places to focus on that. So uh, the, it includes the health policy research for the re researchers, for the service providers, for the administrators, uh, even uh, economic analysis, uh, the pharmacoeconomics is also very, very important. So uh, no research has been undertaken uh, in the last two categories and whatever research we have had, with that has been reported in the field of Ayurveda and other medical sciences, that's under biomedical uh, sciences. Now, coming to the, uh, just to name a few of the tremendous uh, advances that have occurred, extraction, uh, extraction uh, techniques, uh, so supercritical extraction, SP extraction, many, many types have uh, come. So that's how, anyway, it's not, uh, I'm not the expert to speak on those things. Remarkable advances have been under, you know, have been made. So that also uh, needs to be taken into consideration. Remember that this extraction technique may not be useful for classical Ayurveda because uh, in classical Ayurveda, we don't use them. But for the propagation of uh, herbal based medicine, that may be important. Standardization and hyphenated systems are being used extensively, especially in uh, China. The, the TCM uh, scientists have undertaken so much of research in all aspects. 
So you, I, I will show you some of the examples, and we can easily, you know, assess the difference, uh, the, the vast gap that exists between the research uh, uh, attempts of uh, our country and uh, uh, China. So that this this gap needs to be bridged, and we need we, we have all resources. We have uh, manpower. Only thing is uh, lack of focus and lack lack of availability. I mean, uh, non availability of the adequate uh, resources, and uh, you know. Uh, uh, drug discovery, the, the uh, drug discovery, what which, which uh, what it used to be in 70s has totally changed. Now they are speaking about target-based approaches. Extensive in vitro studies are being uh, you know uh, conducted and uh, uh, computational models uh, adopting uh, the big data science you know, analytic uh, analytic techniques uh, have come for in silico studies. So tremendous advances have, have been undertaken in the field of drug discovery. Safety assessment has also gone, uh, in a, uh, you know, significant change. In the in that uh, in vitro pharmacological uh, studies uh, are being uh, extensively used for preliminary screening of safety aspect. Not only that, uh, another uh, you know, very important advancement is the toxicogenomics because toxicogenomics is very very important because it, it indicates the probable uh, toxic potential of any compound much before uh, it's uh, uh, it becomes apparent uh, phenotypically. That means even be, uh, before the occurrence of uh, uh, you know any organ uh, lesion, so we can predict or we can uh, uh, you know come to know that uh, what are, what are the likelihood. So toxicogenomics is uh, another very very important uh, subject which needs to be you know um, adapted uh, for our field also. Uh, network pharmacology, system uh, biology, uh, they, this you know. Uh, gels very well with the concept of Ayurveda. Uh, uh, one of the main difference uh, between Ayurveda and uh, other uh, medical system is that Ayurveda has got holistic approach. It, 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 it is one of the earliest sciences to focus uh, and tell that uh, drug effect can occur at uh, system level. So, uh, uh, and from that point of view, um, you know, uh, this uh, two, uh, uh, advancement in these two fields are also, also important. Uh, not only that, uh, uh, Macromolecules, uh, you know, uh, macromolecules in the form of polysaccharides and others are uh, present uh, uh, extensively in our uh, most of our preparation, whether classical or uh, patented. Uh, but nobody is focusing, especially in India, I have not seen even single paper on uh, uh, biological aspect of macromolecules. Chinese have done some work. Uh, showing that uh, they are also very very important they are also very very important components so uh, focus on them is also you know uh, uh, very important of course uh, like that a uh, lot of uh, uh, another very important uh, advancement is in the advancement in the test receptor uh, physiology and test receptor physiology advancement is very very you know uh, exciting I, I will be focusing immediately after this uh, on that so how this uh, the advancement that have occurred here uh, in these fields can be adapted to Ayurveda and how much has been done, that, that, that would be the focus of uh, our discussion. So uh, whenever we speak of research, uh, what is the possible role uh, 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 in this in drug, drug research in Ayurveda? So the advancements uh, can be adapted for drug research in Ayurveda, including biological standardization. Uh, and use of Ayurvedic drugs as adjuvants, uh, it's another, uh, you know, very important, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 the, uh, the possibility wherein, uh, so it, it can lead to integrative approach. Whenever we speak of integrative approach, so the, there are a lot of drugs called formulation which can be very well integrated with uh, any uh, type of uh, medicine. And then uh, formulation factor impact, uh, a lot of changes are being made uh, in the farm uh, preparation, drug preparation, and uh, even in population. Uh, but unfortunately, not many studies have been undertaken. What would be the impact of these uh, uh, changes that are being made uh, in uh, manufacturing and uh, formulating uh, arriving on the safety and efficacy aspect? I will be showing some examples uh, of how uh, tremendous would be the impact of this thing and uh, what can be done uh, to uh, uh, in the future also. A safety assessment again i already mentioned about that and lastly this uh, uh, unique mechanism unique mechanism of action you will be you know wondering you know uh, many uh, uh, unfortunately not not many many studies have been carried out on ayurvedic formulations but uh, products derived from ayurvedic medicinal plants and ayurvedic formulations uh, have been extensively studied and they have shown uh, uh, some of you know a very remarkable uh, and unique mechanism of action 
I, I, because of uh, time factor, I will not be able to, able to focus on all of them. But few important one I'll be showing uh, as an example of uh, uh, our uh, product having a unique mechanism of action, uh, which is even not present in any system of medicine. So uh, uh, the first thing I would, I would like to you know um, uh, focus is on uh, uh, this uh, rasa panchaka uh, based uh, this thing. Unfortunately, we, 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 we have totally left out uh, this uh, rasa panchaka uh, aspect in our uh, research studies. Only uh, last few years, uh, uh, I think uh, Dr. Professor Tanuja and others, uh, they have made some effort, uh, effort to uh, you know, bring some vigor into this field. Otherwise, the entire uh, therapeutic armamentarium, the strengthening of the Ayurvedic therapeutic uh, uh, armamentarium and uh, you know, adding new drugs uh, base, is based, mainly based on Rasapanchaka concept. Unfortunately, we have lost the, uh, you know, that, uh, uh, what do you call, uh, the um, uh, uh, techniques uh, which were available to assess Rasa Panchaka uh, for our uh, forefathers, we had done extraordinary work. And we'll see from the latest uh, changes that have occurred. Chemical profiling has been done uh, by, especially by uh, TBGRA scientists. Uh, uh, they have analyzed uh, some of the important chemical, uh, you know, phytochemical profile of uh, plants having different uh, uh, Rasas, not for other Gunas, for Rasas. And CIMAF uh, had initiated a functional genomics. So instead of uh, focusing on phytochemicals, they focused on the uh, attributes of the plants. If, if a plant is having kadurasa, so what, what are the uh, type of transcription factors, which are very important uh, mediators of uh, uh, you know, gene expression and protein synthesis. So uh, which type of them are get uh, uh, influenced uh, by this uh, profile uh, was studied by them uh, under a large project. I don't know what has happened uh, later, uh, later on. Now, coming to the role of uh, taste receptors. So this paper, uh, which appeared in uh, Nature Medicine in 2010, uh, uh, so has uh, as, uh, as become one of the hallmark of uh, taste receptor based uh, this thing. So the, 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 this group, uh, you know, uh, come by, the, the, they are from a very important uh, uh, and uh, internationally recognized uh, uh, group of researchers. So they were uh, doing research on uh, taste receptors. And uh, uh, as part of it, uh, they were focusing on uh, bitter taste receptors. They found bitter taste receptor in, in uh, airway smooth muscle. So what they conceptualized was that, uh, so they thought uh, these taste re receptors are protective in nature. So whenever uh, some, um, you know, uh, uh, this, you know, um, uh, if, if, if the person is uh, the, this one uh, uh, exposed to, uh, irritant inhalants, then it, they will contract and prevent the entry of that uh, uh, toxicant into the lung. But when they when the result were out, uh, they were uh, you know extremely surprised. Paradoxically, so the bitter taste the bitter tasting uh, products they have used, they produced a tremendous bronchodilatation. Then they you know taken a uh, lot of interest and they worked uh, worked out uh, different aspects. They found that uh, the, these bitter principles they act in a, a, a very specific and unique manner. So most of our uh, the, the drugs which are earlier uh, being used, they, they were acting on the, the uh, uh, bitter energetic receptors and uh, inhibition of uh, uh, you know um, uh, um, a, 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 a protease enzyme. But here, this drug was uh, mobilizing calcium, and that mobilized calcium is uh, opening up uh, uh, this uh, uh, po rectifying potassium channel. So potassium needs to be pumped out and uh, making uh, the smooth muscle hyperpolarized and thereby causing tremendous of uh, uh, bronchodilation. And that dilation, uh, bronchodilatation was three to five times uh, uh, you know, uh, powerful than the uh, best observed with uh, salbutamol. So then they... Yeah. Hello? Ravish sir, your slide is not visible, sir. Now or uh, earlier also? No, this one, sir. This one, current one. Okay, okay. Uh, this, I brought it from uh, link. I'll, I'll, I'll go to the... When you put the receptor, no, sir. That's not visible. Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll get into that. No problem. Hmm? Now? Hello? This is, this is first slide, sir. No, no, the bitter taste receptors. 
no 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 we are uh, seeing this first slide you have shared earlier sir uh, you start you restart your sharing and uh, you just click on the slide show and go to the slide uh, the last slide okay 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 well i will i'll, I'll do that Uh, is my laptop visible now yes sir yes sir okay 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 now better test is after this yes, word sir. document yeah yes sir it is visible sir okay thank you thank you okay well, i'll give the slide but please do one thing make it on a slide show yeah uh, no this cannot uh, this is hyperlink to the slide show you know i don't i will manage I will, don't worry i will manage okay so this uh, i was talking about this uh, uh, bitter test uh, test tense produced tremendous uh, uh, relaxation of the bronch you know uh, bronchial uh, smooth muscle uh, which was three fold uh, three to five fold higher than the salbutamol so then they tested in most model of asthma there also they found uh, you know tremendous uh, uh, you know amount of uh, efficacy and they, they then they started wondering because thousands of known synthetic and naturally occurring bitter test uh, compounds are available if they can uh, source them as new drugs so there will be you know flooding of the market with a new and unique uh, uh, drugs with unique mechanism of action and which are quite safe uh, most many of them are you know uh, plant based so test uh, this uh, safety aspect also so Uh, uh you know this thing so they, then they thought that uh, so they will uh, uh, you know they will have two purposes one is uh, nutritionally important and uh, there are uh, other point is that uh, they, they are they will identify the potential uh, uh, toxins and then uh, uh, many other researchers uh, have been undertaken now uh, uh, very in very important uh, you know uh, thing has been identified that means taste receptors are present outside the taste buds normally test buds uh, you know test buds contain test receptor they serve the purpose of uh, you know identifying the nutrition and rejecting the potential toxins but apart from that in extra oral uh, organs uh, you know in uh, for example in gi tract uh, arm sperm skeletal muscle cns bone marrow and blood vessels many many organs in one in brain so uh, isolated uh, test receptors Uh, of uh, different types especially you know uh, sweet taste receptors bitter taste receptors uh, and uh, cut uh, taste receptor cut means uh, uh, there is a receptor type known as uh, vanilla uh, uh, trpv you know ion channel linked receptor so that has been identified with cut uh, rasa even for uh, th there are uh, you know uh, salt re 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 receptor based uh, uh, mechanism is also there so then uh, uh, so people have mentioned that uh, this uh, this can be very well adapted uh, uh, for you know rasapanchaka at least rasa profiling in uh, uh, for ayurveda so this can be done uh, in drosophila and rats rats and drosophila they, they so it, they, they can be used to identify bitter and uh, sweet taste so uh, uh, other lower animals uh, can be done and uh, so this can be used for uh, assessing for example patya patya Uh, especially in the <clears throat> in the context of you know food supplements so what are their what would be their effect on the different type of uh, uh, you know rasa panchaka you know components uh, what, what is going to happen if, if there is deficiency or if excess of that so all those uh, even pathophysiological aspect can also be identified and vanilla receptor as i mentioned it is present in almost every cell because it regulates fundamental uh, uh, property of the cells that is excitability sweet receptors they are present in the skeletal muscles and uh, uh, lipid uh, receptors are there but they 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 serve a, you know important function because of you know uh, time factor i have to only just pointing out uh, an important things 
for example uh, berberin berberin uh, from darwaridra and other plants so it has got an extraordinary activity profile it, it stimulates uh, uh, sweet taste uh, receptor and also bitter taste receptor and uh, uh, because of the stimulation of the bitter taste receptor uh, this uh, glucagon like uh, peptide glp1 which is an incretin that means which increases the secretion of insulin gets uh, released so this is one of the unique mechanism it has got many other unique mechanisms uh, berberin so this uh, the, this is given as one of the examples and uh, uh, another interesting uh, finding was that sweet receptors have been linked to uh, this uh, glucose uh, transporting uh, mechanism one is in the form of uh, sodium glucose uh, co-transporter which is present in the, uh, the you know um, um, uh, renal tissue and also uh, this uh, glucose transporter 2 these two are linked to sweet receptors so whenever uh, uh, sweet receptor gets stimulated the activity and formation and expression of this uh, thing gets excited uh, and bitter taste receptors are activation uh, releases uh, cholecystokinin. So when cholecystokinin is released, the gut, uh, the gut motility gets uh, decreased. And uh, uh, it also uh, modulates uh, one of the uh, transporters uh, which is linked to ATP. Uh, and like it, it, uh, they have got uh, membrane, bitter taste receptors are present in a uh, number of tissues. So, um, yeah, so uh, latest investigation in the last two, three years have revealed that, uh, so there are uh, 25, uh, a year I will be focusing only on bitter taste receptors. Only bitter taste receptors, I'm not talking about uh, sweet uh, salt or katu uh, or, uh, you know, amla or things like that. So here, so 25 uh, different type of bitter taste receptors have been identified. With the, with the different with difference in the ability to perceive bitterness that means they have got a very important physiological role these are all, many of them are extra oral bitter taste receptors so because of their uh, difference in the perception ability so it is uh, it has been mentioned that uh, uh, they have got different roles so uh, now uh, uh, very well standardized uh, cell culture is available in the name of this hek293 t cells so they have been specifically you know developed and standardized for studying bitter taste receptors this can be very well uh, be adapted uh, for our purpose especially for perception of uh, bitter taste similarly there will be uh, you know receptor uh, the sweet receptor containing uh, cells and also for others also but these are extensively studied because bitter taste has been found to have uh, you know a large number of important uh, uh, pharmacological actions and they, uh, and they have been named like this, you know, by they, they were given a uh, different name. So if it is italic means it is gene. If it is not italic means that is the receptor. So they are present in the, uh, you know, uh, lower airways. They play a very important uh, role in uh, asthma. It has been observed that uh, the uh, uh, children who can uh, appreciate bitter taste better, they have got uh, low incidence of asthma. And many of the children who are suffering from asthma were found to have defective uh, perception of uh, bitter taste. That means bitter taste plays a very important role as a biosensor uh, and as a protective mechanism. So they are also present on thyrocytes. So controlling very important uh, hormone, which, which regulates other uh, secretion of other hormones. So they are also present on the myocytes, fibroblasts, uh, and the skin also, uh, uh, the, the, you know, uh, in uh, expression level. That means uh, there are three to four, four or five types of uh, uh, bitter taste receptors are present in the skin, but their expression. So they, their uh, function role uh, uh, is it, difference. Uh, when ex exposed to sun, the activity of uh, three gets uh, decreased and uh, one becomes higher. So like that in uterus also, the, they have been <clears throat> uh, uh, pre present. So in, in amniotic epithelium, synthesis desidua cells, human placenta, there also they are present. And they are present, uh, bitter, the taste receptors present almost all over the body, in almost all the cells. That's why discrete chemosensory system has come into existence. So, uh, you know, uh, 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 bitter taste role in obesity has also been assessed. It has been observed that uh, the persons with uh, better you know, uh, perceiving capability of bitter taste, so they, they, uh, they have got <clears throat> higher skin fold, uh, uh, 
uh, I mean, uh, those who, are, who do not have, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, uh, good perception, bitter taste. So they have got higher skin fold, higher body fat, and uh, higher uh, uh, fat ma mass in, in, the, in the index. So this has also been seen in the infants who become, uh, you know, obese in the later stages of the life. They also have got this uh, uh, fundamental uh, difference uh, in the gene expression. So gene expression studies uh, can be undertaken. So for uh, you know prognosing uh, what would be the type of uh, uh, you know development uh, which occurs in future, in, especially in children, developing children. Uh, longevity, longevity uh, again, uh, uh, two variants are there. One year variant uh, promotes longevity. <clears throat> Another uh, uh, in non-functional one, it has no role. So like that, uh, bitter taste receptor have got uh, role in uh, cancer. You know, in, uh, in, uh, you know, in all aspect, uh, so they they induce uh, um, this type of one one particular type of bitter receptor, uh, TAS2R. So this category, so they induce uh, uh, inhibition of proliferation. Uh, they potentiate apoptotic, uh, uh, you know, mechanism, and also inhibit uh, migration. And migration is very important for metastasis. So all these things. The three you know, important uh, traits are being uh, and mediated through uh, that. That means these uh, uh, taste receptors play a very important role. This opens up a very huge potential for uh, Ayurveda-based research. You know, uh, uh, actually, a lot of research is being done by the physio, you know, uh, mainstream scientists in the, without knowing that uh, uh, in, in a voluminous uh, uh, body of uh, classical research is, uh, is available. Uh, you know, information is available on them. So. Uh, if we need to coordinate this thing, uh, so like that. Uh, so even, uh, some people, you know, they, they get uh, toxicity when they take uh, anti secretary drugs, uh, extra, extra pyramidal, uh, pyramidal uh, changes. So the, 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 that is again because of uh, dysregulation of uh, beta, uh, you know, this uh, bitter taste receptors. So like this. Large number of um, uh, you know uh, evidence uh, shows. Uh, uh, Yadavendra Yadav, you are being unmuted every time when I muted you. Please be muted all the way. Otherwise, I will force to uh, keep you in the waiting room. Yadavendra Yadav. Uh, okay, uh, uh, dear coordinator, can you see the uh, uh, my presentation now? Yes, sir. It's we can see, sir. We can yes, see. Sir. Okay, okay. So this is uh, uh, this, this is an example of you know study conducted wherein uh, so uh, they have used uh, a fluorescence dye uh, uh, which can which can be quantified to you know see uh, how bitter test uh, uh, you know uh, this re receptor. These are the cell cultures cells having bitter test uh, receptor TSC two or uh, four six. This is the code name. So uh, whenever this uh, uh, um, you know uh, uh, this uh, bitter drug has been administered, so uh, in uh, uh, graded doses. So this is how uh, before it, it it was looking like that. Afterwards, it was looking like that. So the same thing has been quantified, and they have clearly shown uh, you know uh, how they get activated. This, this, like this, we can <clears throat> uh, assess any new um, plant if you want. We can come, uh, you know, we can test like this and see uh, whether bitter test results are uh, stimulated or not. So that we will, we can provide molecular basis for the rasa panchaka concept from rasa point of view. And then um, uh, system biology approach uh, I already mentioned to you. Uh, so again, I will have to go back to uh, my other uh, presentation uh, mode because that hyperlink uh, is not working here. Mm. Our preparation, <clears throat> most of our preparations are compound uh, 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 formulations. Uh, is my this uh, uh, PDF is visible to you? Hello? Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. Okay, okay. So uh, this Wagner uh, internationally well-known team, they have they have studied the synergistic effect of even a, uh, you know crude uh, drug and uh, comparison of it with active principles. So many a time, what we do is uh, we think that active principle is the representative of the plan uh, uh, that may not be hold good for all the this thing because uh, 
uh, the, the gene expression studies and uh, many pharmacological studies that have been carried out show that uh, the active principle have got different type of <clears throat> mechanism and uh, the uh, com compound formulation may have a different kind of mechanism of action. Sometimes it may be opposite to the active principles. So in this study, they have, they, they have uh, an assessed uh, effect on gene expression. The first three uh, control, uh, black means no activity, green means low activity, red, red means uh, stimulation. Uh, ethyl acetate uh, lowered uh, activity of around 250 genes were studied. Ethanol acetate, some uh, stimulation, uh, very few, less this thing was there. Water uh, depression is there, but this crude uh, 12, in the channel 12, so it, it has stimulated all the genes. So this clearly shows that, uh, that uh, you know, synergistic effect. <clears throat> uh, the activity profile, uh, what we are uh, you know, uh, showing uh, on the basis of uh, uh, this phytochemical based uh, pharmacology activity profile may, <clears throat> will not hold good uh, uh, for explaining the compound diabetes preparation uh, pharmacology. So the pharmacology of compound formulation is totally different. And then coming to uh, toxicology related uh, research. This is another very, very important, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, this thing. So uh, th th there is a uh, tremendous uh, amount of uh, anxiety, <clears throat> unfortunately, even among our Ayurvedic brethren, about use of our, you know, mineral, mineral metal products and herbal mineral products, uh, thinking that uh, they are uh, just like uh, heavy metals. <clears throat> in, in fact, it is not. Uh, they, they, are, they are totally, you know, uh, they have got totally different uh, safety and uh, efficacy profile. I brought few examples. Uh, our team, uh, we uh, at Jamnagar and uh, many other places, we have to study more than 50 uh, the metal and mineral based products. We did not come across any serious toxicity, any of them. They were, they were all major products. Uh, I, I, we, 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 we even undertaken uh, toxicity evaluation projects for CCRS. Uh, more than 12 to 13 drug formulations were uh, you know, assessed. None of them produced any you know, dose dependent uh, uh, toxicity, which is uh, of any pathological implication. So even during my, our uh, academic research, I found only Rasa Pushpa. Rasa Pushpa has got some, uh, this thing probably mainly because of uh, inappropriate dosage or inappropriate man, the manufacturing and uh, that, that produced uh, toxicity. So, uh, but we did not undertake <coughs> comparative uh, toxicological uh, evaluation. So uh, Chinese have done uh, you know, uh, 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 extraordinary work. They have adopted different approaches. So for them, uh, they, they can predict uh, toxicology um, by applying <clears throat> different uh, methods, including toxicogenomics. For example, in this, uh, uh, they've got uh, 18 incompatible medicants. So these 18 medicines are there. So they cannot be given with all the medication, only with some they can be given. So this can be compared with our, you know, um, uh, uh, Viruddha concept, Viruddha, uh, Viruddha Hara concept. In Viruddha, 18 to 20 types of Viruddhas, uh, I, I, uh, and I did a discussion with, with, you know, about this with my doc, Professor Mayesh Vash and Professor Rambhav Divedi during my Jamnagar stay. So a, a tremendous amount of uh, you know, information can be gathered from that and we can avoid uh, uh, any, any adverse uh, you know, effect uh, on that. Chinese have come out with a uh, you know, standard guideline, uh, computational guideline about that. So they've also, uh, you know, uh, undertaken uh, uh, interaction with one of the most important, uh, uh, you know, transcription factor from point of view of uh, um, drug metabolism, pregnant X receptor. So uh, 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 whether it, uh, uh, whether that is accept, uh, affected or not, that has been studied. And uh, they've also studied the uh, effect on uh, a group of, uh, bio, um, you know, biomarkers. So they have studied the effect of the drug and the biomarkers generally. <clears throat> and they've identified that uh, certain biomarkers get uh, altered uh, during tox uh, uh, toxicity. For example, this L-carnitine and uh, lysophosphatidylcholine gets you know, uh, elevated during liver toxicity. Similarly, in the liver and the cardiac toxicity and thymidine uh, for, uh, and LPC for nephrotoxicity. Uh, and now they have a multi-parameter uh, model. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that cannot be adapted for us because you know Ayurvedic uh, basic concepts are uh, you know they differ from uh, Chinese. So we need to prepare our own uh, you know model for that. So, so predict uh, this thing. 
so speciation what would what is the uh, uh, nature of uh, uh, that uh, uh, heavy metal uh, the chemical nature of the heavy metal the chemical speciation has not uh, been worked out so uh, uh, again chinese have taken a lead in that so what they have done is that they have undertaken <coughs> comparative study they they took uh, mercuric sulfide mercury chloride uh, as a representative of the heavy metals and uh, along with the methyl mercury these three were uh, heavy metal representative zutai zutai was the <coughs> mercury containing uh, preparations so they tried in uh, you know young and uh, aged uh, rats and they studied the number of parameters in aged uh, in uh, kidney liver function kidney liver uh, you know the transport uh, proteins and expression of uh, different uh, genes they studied in all of them methyl mercury um, the, the mercury chloride uh, uh, they, they, they uh, had a different activity profile whereas zutai was not not at all having zutai and cinnabar so they were having a different uh, activity profile this clearly shows that so they do not have <clears throat> the toxicity potential of the um, main uh, this thing and they studied on uh, you know uh, clinical symptoms so uh, in in another study they they undertook a comparative study by lu and uh, et al so they they compared uh, cinnabar and uh, mercury chloride so a, a, a very you know detailed study they undertook so in renal pathology mercury chloride produced uh, you know remarkable injury uh, whereas uh, cinnabar uh, just like our kajali it did not produce any uh, toxicity at all in in, in fact uh, all the uh, you know uh, this thing were uh, in, um, quite normal and uh, interestingly mercury accumulation was uh, 400 fold with uh, mercury chloride and even with uh, cinnabar the uh, uh, there was um, uh, you know um, uh, uh, two fold uh, uh, increase in the mercury accumulation so mercury got into the kidney but it did not produce toxicity in cinnabar <clears throat> while producing uh, uh, toxicity while it's in the mercury chloride form not only that so they assessed the effect on six genes so uh, uh, this uh, mercury chloride this mercury chloride uh, uh, changed the expression of, that means the activity of the gene controlling metallothionine hemoxygenase chemokine kinase glutathione transferase calcium binding protein and ecadenine uh, these changes were not at all observed with cinnabar though this toxicogenomics uh, 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 study provided an excellent uh, and uh, very very powerful uh, uh, basis to show that uh, uh, the heavy metals have got different activity profile and safety profile and uh, the heavy metals used in classical uh, you know uh, uh, medical sciences like uh, tradi uh, traditional chinese medicine and ayurveda so they have got uh, different uh, this thing similarly they, they studied uh, another uh, angong new i don't know how to pronounce it agnh which contained uh, 10% cinnabar uh, and uh, and also compared with uh, under uh, cinnabar given in very high dose that is 300 mg per kilo and again they they, uh, they compared it and uh, uh, you know um, lot of this thing have come in india a comparative study was undertaken by all india institute of medical science uh, group uh, uh, on siddha mukherjee and uh, aragyavardhi university so i'll be showing the result uh, in the presentation but they gave aragyavardhi university which was 10 times uh, higher than the regular uh, therapeutic dose and did not produce any toxicity any of the parameters studied whereas the mercury chloride produced uh, toxicity so aragyavardhi university and siddha mukherjee were very well tolerated whereas that was not the case with the uh, this thing so like this a tremendous amount of uh, you know uh, uh, information has been uh, generated uh, furthermore so another study was undertaken by um, bhu group uh, zoology this thing they they undertook a comparative study of uh, er means amlaki rasayana rasas uh, rs means rasasindura so rasasindura <coughs> they, they studied for you know lung effect on longevity uh, the developmental time Uh, you know, uh, fecundity, reproductive capacity, uh, uh, tolerance against uh, heat stress, tolerance against uh, starvation uh, stress. Uh, what what would be the molecular effect on the nuclear uh, uh, proteins? This nuclear protein play a very important role in uh, you know different act cell activities. So they studied the effect of uh, uh, these two on them. So um, uh, uh, lifespan was increased by ablaquira cyanide. Uh, Siddha Mukherjee did not produce any effect. 
what what they have highlighted is that even if you give two percent, Rasa Sindura is not has not produced any death. So that clearly shows you uh, mercury. You know uh, the classical Ayurvedic mercury preparation is uh, is not having any you know lethal effect on uh, uh, highly sensitive fly like Drosophila. So developmental type shorter for both of them. So the larger the salivary gland uh, because they they contain uh, this thing. So they enlarged in both of them. Uh, reproductive capacity. The reproductive capacity increased uh, uh, in Amlaki Rasayana when they were given in uh, uh, young uh, larval stage, but they had no effect in the uh, adults. It, the reverse was true with uh, Rasa Sindura. That Rasa Sindura's Vajikran effect uh, probably uh, uh, occurs only when given in uh, adults, not in uh, young children. So thermotolerance. Um, uh, the, um, uh, each stress, uh, Rasayana, uh, Amlaki Rasayana produced a good uh, productive effect, and Rasa Sindura produced a, a, even better effect than uh, uh, you know, Amlaki Rasayana, having uh, anti stress effect against uh, temperature induced stress, not against starvation. Starvation test, Amlaki Rasayana produced a production, but Rasa Sindura had no effect. And uh, nuclear proteins were uh, tremendously increased in uh, uh, both uh, uh, Amlaki Rasayana, Rasa Sindura given group. These human uh, nuclear proteins, they play a very important role. Uh, several of them are there, uh, in mice, there are six or seven. So they got, uh, in, in their activity got increased. <clears throat> Normally, what happens? Their got their their activity get increased whenever there is uh, uh, changes in uh, going to occur in the gene. This thing. So gene transcription was not affected, but the activity of this nuclear protein, a unique mechanism action was uh, you know uh, shown by this thing. So this is the study that uh, whatever I have mentioned, you know, same thing has been given in there. The, this is the uh, uh, ex ex expression of this nuclear protein HRP40. They have shown. So this is how it occurs. So control, no expression, Amlaki Rasayana and this thing, very good expression. In Rasa Sindura expression is even better. Same thing. So this I was talking to you about, uh, uh, you know, Mercury Chloride and Siddha uh, our All Indian Stuart uh, team. So here, uh, ASH activity, which is important for memory, the got uh, tremendously decreased with mercury chloride, as you can uh, as you can see on the screen. Whereas Siddha Makarajaja, uh, at even at the highest dose, uh, uh, which is ten times the human dose, uh, did not produce any uh, you know, uh, decrease. So it it it, uh, it showed uh, almost uh, values which are equivalent to the normal one. Similar effect were observed with uh, uh, with effect uh, with with respect to memory test. So memory uh, test was uh, tremendously affected by mercury chloride. Uh, 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 which uh, you know decreased the uh, transfer latency uh, in uh, both pa uh, passive order test and uh, uh, elevated plus maze. So, which was not uh, there in the uh, uh, Siddha Makarzoja. And sometimes you can see the Siddha Makarzoja values are even better than the control one. Similarly, you know, uh, what is interesting is that mercury level was there. Mercury level got elevated uh, uh, with mercury chloride in liver and kidney brain. Similar thing happened with Siddha Makarja, though not as high as uh, mercury chloride. So again, it, it, we, we should uh, you know, note this point, whether it is uh, Siddha Makarja, whether it is uh, Aragavardhi Nimati, mercury level gets, uh, uh, or added, you know, level increases in liver, brain, and kidney, but this increased level will not produce any toxicity, that, uh, indicating that it, the <coughs> chemical nature of the uh, this preparation is totally different from a you know uh, conventional mercury like uh, um, mercury chloride. Same thing, uh, histopathological study showed uh, uh, remarkable changes with uh, mercury chloride, and uh, others uh, uh, other, uh, group were normal. So and uh, um, this was another study, AJ study I was talk, talking, and another uh, you know, drug, uh, NH, uh, NHJD, they have uh, this thing. So uh, they have shown with uh, Realgar, Realgar uh, and combination of uh, re arsenic and Realgar, they have uh, Realgar and arsenic sulfide, they have combined, so you can see from here. So the expression of gene expression uh, uh, got uh, de 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 decreased by them and whereas uh, 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 which was affected by you know sodium arsenate and sodium arsenate, this thing. So uh, th this again shows a difference between the you know regular uh, uh, inorganic uh, one and uh, the classical ones. 
So this is the expression study at the you know, uh, cell level that has been explained. So you can, here you can see, so expression level get increased uh, with uh, uh, you know, uh, combination of uh, real GAR and uh, arsenic, whereas this AGNH is a classical combination. Here it did not get uh, you know, ex, you know, elevated. So this clearly shows that you know, my, you know, even at a genomic level difference uh, among these things. Histopathology expression level, they are all very important. And you know, uh, why I'm showing this is this is the nature of study we need to undertake, uh, at least for our, our, most of our important uh, uh, extensively used uh, Ayurvedic uh, metal preparation like uh, Bruhat Vata Chintamani, uh, Santa Kusuma Kararasa. So we, we have got many very important and extensively used uh, one. We, we need to carry out studies like this so that once for all, all we can uh, draw curtain about the, uh, you know, whatever this thing uh, about them. So even at gene, gene level, the gene expression is sort of different with the classical formulation. Uh, because of timely time, I'm not able to explain this thing uh, uh, so the same thing, uh, even at the by, you know by clinical chemistry level, also they showed a difference. So in vitro toxicity, toxicology have, have been increasingly you know increasingly being employed. So this uh, 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 ten to twelve types are there representing different uh, organs. So they are very well standardized. This can be undertaken for <laughs> if you have got a cell culture facility. So we, we can apply this. Uh, uh, you know, uh, cell cultures. Uh, the, the explanation of the name of the cell culture has been uh, you know, mentioned here, uh, but, but to save time, I'm not going to read out. So, so like that, uh, tremendous advances have occurred, uh, and unfortunately, uh, so the, the these things have not been uh, you know uh, um, adapted. Uh, this toxicogenomic studies have not been ad adapted. Uh, uh, for uh, uh, you know, Indian conditions. Then uh, I want to show you another study which was carried out by my, uh, you know my uh, students. So we did we induced uh, hypothyroidism with uh, methimazole in rats, and we gave neuropathy. See, when neuropathy was given, uh, the, it uh, you know tremendously reversed the uh, the you know T3 decrease decrease that has occurred. A similar decrease the thing was also occurred with T4. So that decrease uh, that was occurred in the T3 T3 totally reversed T4 uh, moderately reversed. Not only that, urea level and histopathology. This is a normal uh, histopathological profile of normal thyroid from normal rat. When methimazole is given, there will be a tremendous collapse and changes, uh, indicating that uh, uh, remarkable uh, degenerative changes. So there is no uh, colloid present, and uh, these uh, follicles are, uh, you know, um, uh, this you know, morph. So th that has been reversed by a neuro harvesting. So like that, we, we, the, the uh, scope is uh, tremendous. We can <clears throat> imply. <clears throat> And also, pain and analgesia, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, improvements uh, uh, have been uh, made. I'm not going to talk about it, but uh, showing that some of the important one. So, I mean, which, uh, 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 especially this thermal probe test, this uh, uh, the, 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 this can be adapted for, uh, uh, you know, uh, some of our, uh, whenever we assess uh, pain relief, uh, this temperature gradient uh, technique, so I'm not going to into the details, but just showing these are the important one, uh, though this uh, a little costly, this instrument, but it's very, very important. It, it, it shows uh, focus on a totally neglected uh, uh, you know, area, even by mainstream pharmacologist uh, about the uh, assessment of uh, symptoms, symptom-based assessment of pain. So this is the instrument. Uh, the dynamic weight bearing operators that is being used. You can see by measuring different aspect of the power, uh, uh, power movement, power, this thing. So uh, uh, to, uh, pain uh, in totality uh, is being, uh, you know, uh, uh, mentioned even by assessing the grimace like symptoms and by assessing the burrowing uh, nature of the rat. So um, pain is being uh, assessed. So these uh, latest techniques uh, need to be adapted for uh, assessing our Ayurvedic uh, uh, you know, drugs also. Now, uh,
what what are the basic requirement just you know uh, how to carry out pharmacology especially for some in, in the, in the uh, youngsters this may be important uh, very uh, animal facility you should not do any experimentation without animal facility and uh, only those who have got good aptitude for animal experimentation should undertake uh, this uh, animal experiment many people are you know scared to touch even animals then, then they should uh, you know remain away from the uh, animal laboratory so uh, and uh, whoever and wants to undertake uh, uh, in, in, uh, you know uh, pharmacological studies they they, they need to be aware about the uh, different aspect how to maintain the and uh, uh, animals uh, what are the type of animals for example uh, you know bacteriophage uh, lower microorganism bacteria like uh, coli chlamydomonas breviaries they are all used for uh, drug research and uh, this uh, you know drosophila Uh, lemna grab and uh, rubbed the two plants and uh, uh, nematode uh, ha you know uh, this uh, drosophila life cycle uh, so like that squid crab each of them have got a specific application zebra fish extensively used mouse different strains so it is better to have uh, some information basic information on them so so that uh, your experimentation quality would be quite high so different kind of uh, uh, no animals in uh, langur and uh, marmosets marmosets are a small monkey new old monkeys so now they are being used extensively for uh, different kind of uh, uh, research uh, purposes so they are they are not had been started in india i think that would be good idea to start uh, with them so like that we need to have uh, the researcher should have uh, basic information anyway it is there in the syllabus of uh, first year md and uh, who are entering the md they will be taught this and uh, we have been taught, te te teaching them uh, these aspects so whenever you undertake experimentation you, you should undertake only with very well standardized uh, drug even if it is compound oil preparation we can do it for sankaputvi medya rasayana uh, so an excellent uh, hptlc profile can be drawn uh, along with other uh, you know um, uh, chemical testing dna fingerprinting the latest uh, uh, rapids uh, world one and our latest techniques have come we can use them well, only thing is that they will identify the plant but they will not tell you whether the plant is already extracted or used or a fresh one of course how to do experiment uh, type of experiment anyway i am not going to uh, talk any detail only important aspect uh, different uh, animal models uh, what is the meaning how to uh, select uh, you know uh, uh, size sample size uh, determination just like human being uh, different factors are there uh, importance of pilot studies uh, how to do randomization in animal studies blinding of uh, especially in some studies blinding is required and what are the type of control groups we can keep uh, what's the you know nature of sham control all are there ah, so i opened this link because i want to show this so uh, most you know the human being will live at least for 75 80 years uh, whereas mice and rats they live only for 2 uh, to 3 years so uh, uh, like this they have calculated so uh, this uh, Um, mature adult uh, uh, three three to six uh, uh, month uh, age. So uh, it, it is equal into twenty thirty years uh, in human being. So ten to fourteen month old rat is equal into thirty eight to forty seven year old uh, person. So eighteen to twenty four two year old uh, uh, you know rats are considered as old and uh, they are kept in the geriatric category. and most of the time we we can you know we use uh, uh, in ayurveda unlike synthetic grass uh, so uh, we we, we, we uh, most of our formulation are already being uh, used in um, uh, clinical conditions so we need to convert that clinical dose into human dose i mean uh, animal dose for that uh, uh, readily available uh, you know um, uh, nanograms are available you can use this so either by dividing or multiplying how to do it uh, it's explained here if anybody want this you know, i can uh, provide uh, this link uh, or uh, this presentation uh, le uh, please uh, leave your this thing uh, request with the organizers earlier we used to use this page and bonds uh, well known method but nowadays uh, this fda has come out with a latest uh, this thing here uh, this can be adapted of course this page and bonds is also quite good the difference is not uh, very much 10 to 15% only uh, it has been how to do it has been worked out and not only that uh, 
details of uh, some of the studies that can be carried out uh, has been given. Coming to use uh, Ayurvedic drug sex arguments. So in one of our students, one of our PhD students, he carried out a comparative study uh, using a Rasayana compound, which was uh, you know, prepared by her based on classical input. Uh, uh, with the help of a clinical research organization, we carried out a comparative study in which uh, uh, anti-tubercular drugs were given in one group. In another group, Rasayana uh, drug plus uh, this uh, anti-tubercular drug, uh, this thing was given. So the re result was very, very, really very good and very remarkable, uh, as uh, told by our co-investigator, uh, Professor Siv Prakas Rathanam uh, is the owner of a uh, you know internationally well known uh, CRO. So he kindly you know supported uh, with funds. Uh, uh, this sputum negativity was quite high. There are no toxicity and the uh, whatever uh, adverse effect which were there in the uh, tubercular anti tubercular group were very much less. Uh, this is the composition of this uh, you know uh, formulations. So like this, you know, um, there is a tremendous possibility for uh, assessing this effect. Uh, similarly, animal experimentation with uh, Paribhadra has shown uh, to have very good anti effect. You can get uh, uh, 10 to 15 papers like this. And then impact of, uh, uh, you know, for example, if you collect a uh, plant from different places, uh, you know, one plant we collected from Jamnagar and uh, Ratnagiri, the Jamnagar plant uh, produced a better effect in compared to Ratnagiri with regard to uh, an, you know, inflammatory inflammation. So the Parijata, uh, you know, plucked in uh, September produced very good effect, whereas no, uh, minor, the minor effect was observed in, uh, you know, uh, July uh, and uh, November batches. So that uh, seasonal variation may be very important for some of the plant, may, may not be for all. Then uh, Silajitu obtained from different places. So uh, uh, for, uh, we, we studied for a uh, number of uh, pharmacological properties. So uh, this Nepal and uh, uh, Gopeshwar sample produced a significant effect, whereas the Nanitar, Almoda, Pithoragad uh, uh, samples and weight sample did not produce uh, antidepressant activity. That's why the sourcing is also uh, important. Paisajikal Panam, Panchatikta Grita, Panchatikta Grita, uh, uh, the first one with uh, control, uh, only plain Grita was given. Panchatikta Grita uh, uh, with both, uh, you know, uh, uh, using uh, Tipala Kalka and uh, um, uh, purification was uh, used. Second one, one only with Kalka, and third one with only purification. And final, uh, without uh, purification, without uh, Tipala Kalka. And the last one produced a better antibody formation. And uh, uh, Kutaja Avalaya, Kutaja Arista, <clears throat> both produced good effect, but uh, Avalaya produced better effect than Arista. So th this formulation based differences and shodhana of uh, lung, uh, non shodhita langli produced uh, toxicity on the testes, whereas after shodhana, uh, rushya like effect was observed. So our basic kalpana, you know, in, in influence is, uh, uh, our, you know, impact is uh, tremendous and we need to always give consideration for them. And epigenetic factors is the latest thing and curcumin uh, is one of the very, very few molecules which can uh, modify all the four types of uh, epigenetic factors. And this system biology, you know, in one of the studies, ashwagandha fractions and crude uh, extract was uh, studied. So uh, these uh, uh, active principles were affecting uh, uh, different uh, activities in isolation, whereas the crude was acting on the hub and in, in influencing all the activities. So that's why, you know, the compound uh, formulation uh, uh, activity profile may be different from the uh, uh, active principle one. And uh, this neuron plasticity. So this is a, a, a plant of uh, uh, Central Asiatica. So it has got a neuronal plasticity enhancing effect. You can see this is the control one. So this is the these three groups uh, were, have received uh, this Central Asiatica at different doses. You can differentiate that. So uh, neurofilament formation was much higher. So like that, many you know unique. Uh, uh, Mechanism action are there. I've, I've got the information, but I know uh, I will not be able to present uh, uh, or uh, discuss all of them because of the uh, time factor. So cinnamon died, uh, you know, and not only that, another very interesting uh, Vijaya cannabis. It, it has got its own, uh, uh, you know, receptor system, endocannabinoid receptor. Not only that, it has got uh, its own uh, neurotransmitters. 
uh, this uh, anandamide you know that uh, scientist who gave that he, he he gave this name anandamide because it was producing parmananda we all know uh, how this ganja produces parmananda so to give uh, you know uh, uh, credit to that uh, indian, indian culture so he has named it as anandamide uh, though it is a lipid based uh, this thing so they are present uh, very very brain peripheral nervous system even in gi tract and they play very important role so this uh, in later on in some some day you know we can discuss about uh, this aspect uh, similarly macromolecules unique mechanism you know uh, this uh, aging related this thing and very important one i was not able to talk in detail that's about uh, uh, this uh, uh, in silico studies in silico studies are possible even with ayurvedic drugs it's not it's not simply for uh, synthetic drugs for uh, example this abhinandan and other group so they have carried out this study but here uh, the no ayurvedic concept has been taken into consideration purely on the basis of phytochemicals present in the <clears throat> Tripala, they have uh, carried out uh, a very detailed study with uh, docking experimentation. Uh, they predicted certain uh, efficacy aspects, and when they carried out uh, uh, the study, so they were able to prove the uh, things which uh, they have predicted. They have predicted uh, some effect, and uh, 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 when they carried out those uh, uh, you know cell-based studies, they found uh, those prediction to be true. So, like that, we can do a lot of uh, studies uh, by employing in silico studies. Only thing is that, so we need to you know give input, especially Ayurvedic uh, uh, you know top class scholars. Uh, they, they they need to provide input about different aspects, the rasa panchaka, <coughs> sad kriya kala, and uh, this uh, shrotas. all this information has to be given in a you know machine readable form so that uh, uh, that can be linked to the phytochemical so, so exciting and uh, uh, you know uh, uh, tremendous field uh, would be open uh, uh, in this uh, in silico field so there that's the same thing we had even you know induced uh, epiplegia and uh, this thing growth vata jinta mane has a produce very good uh, uh, protective effect so like that positive tests are immense and the facility this uh, parameters available is also you know immense only thing lacking is that we do not have the uh, infrastructure in ayurvedic field uh, I, i hope uh, uh, our national institute nia all in names of uh, uh, ayurveda and uh, itra jamnagar uh, would uh, itra we, uh, we had established uh, some basic facilities nia also has worked up very well and uh, aa is also planning Hope in next decade some exciting work in this field would be. But so before winding up, so uh, preparation of a good research paper and publish in uh, internationally. If you prepare a, uh, if you conduct a good research like what I have shown to you, and uh, if it is written very well, uh, it can be published in most of the journals, and uh, that is what is uh, important. For that, uh, uh, you know, uh, guidelines are avail available in the form of arrive arrive animals in research. reporting in new experiment just like cochrane uh, this thing they are available i uh, you know i have also given the link uh, so um, this is available it's also available in the net so the, if you follow that uh, uh, so the, there will be uniform especially for those who want to carry out uh, you know what you call systemic uh, review so these things are important uh, with, with this uh, uh, you know uh, wishing uh, all my young uh, friends uh, we are very very you know bright and exciting uh, future research uh, you know uh, uh, in a research uh, active research life uh, in their future and i hope they will be very well rewarded so thank you thank you very much uh, uh, i i just i, I have prepared even uh, uh, another 30 40 slides just for keeping the information ready so anybody wants any information in any of the aspect uh, or even those aspect which i have not dwelt in so they are welcome please uh, send your request to the organization uh, so through organization organizer organizers i can provide you information so with these words uh, uh, i would like to end my interaction with you thank you thank you everyone uh, professor sir can you uh, switch on your video please sure i will do it <coughs> thank you sir thank you sir <coughs> for sharing your valuable knowledge regarding recent advances 
in pharmacological state ayurvedic medicine dr deepika dave gr2 panchkarma fgac varanasi first question air session sure sure uh, all are uh, most welcome i would be glad to answer whatever little i know if i don't know I, I, i'll try to i'll try to get the information and uh, you know uh, uh, supply to the questioner i request dr deepika dave to take over the session thank you so much sir uh, uh so uh, thank you sir for uh, such a enlightening presentation you gave us so uh, we have some questions over here and the first question is from dr shivraj uh, dhaneshwar ji and he is asking that uh, usually we are using either 0 to 10 numerical scores or vs scale for pain assessment both are subjective please explain again which are the laboratorical tools to assess pain both in vitro and in vivo studies uh, what i have shown i'll again show, show, show it to you <clears throat> see uh, in, in laboratory uh, uh, we, we are all well known you know Uh, these techniques are very well known <clears throat> this uh, uh, not this one uh, hot plate uh, tile flick uh, experiments are well known uh, this is tile flick experimental set of uh, uh, and uh, this is the one showing hot plate uh, this thing but uh, uh, this thermal probe here you know uh, uh, we, we can spray acetone uh, in this uh, when acetone is sprayed so it uh, produces cooling so we all know that uh, co uh, cold temperature will also induce pain normally we don't expect cold uh, you know condition to produce pain but uh, whenever there is inflammation so allodyne occurs that means the normal st stimulus uh, is perceived as pain stimulus so in order to assess uh, allodyne this experiment can be used uh, acetone based experiment or even better this temperature gradient uh, here the hot plate is uh, maintained at a different uh, temperature normal you know starting from 37 and uh, going up to 55 so uh, obviously it will prefer to remain on a, a low, uh, lower temperature and uh, it will go to temperature where it can tolerate so the temp temperature tolerates as a whole now, now the sophisticated instruments have come even the temperature at the path not on the uh, uh, hot plate or even temperature at the pole level they can measure it uh, oh. this is a simple version uh, and this is a highly sophisticated instrument uh, here you can see uh, the uh, limb movement all those thing movement i think similar uh, profile can be employed in human beings also uh, only the thing is that uh, that needs to be you know uh, uh, um, um, uh, refined i think some important uh, these things are available uh, protocols are available for that thank you sir and uh, uh, there is uh, one question, uh, one more question uh, from same dr shivraj dhaneshwar ji and he is asking that is there any model to observe action such as prostaglandins uh, inhibitor etc to measure pain sure sure same as same pa you, you can inject uh, uh, prostaglandin so uh, before injecting prostaglandin you can measure the pain pain threshold for example uh, in uh, hot plate it may give you a normal rate may give you 12 uh, second as the threshold if you inject prostaglandin this 12 second will come down to 6 second and then if you inject your drug and see it will reverse the prostaglandin sensitization that's the indirect method but you can actually take out uh, uh, you know cells containing this uh, cox2 and lax2 uh, enzymes and see the effect directly in in vitro that's also possible it's a internationally very well uh, studied uh, protocol it's available if you want i can give you the inf information but it's available on the net there's no need for you to uh, worry about that okay thank you so much sir and uh, moving forward we have question from uh, yogesh kumar pande and he is asking that what is the basis of selection of animal type for a study of pharma pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of an ayurvedic drug 
pharmacodynamic and uh, the pharmacokinetic forget about it because pharmacokinetic cannot be worked out uh, uh, because of many limitations you know most of compound formulas are there and uh, in synthetic drug it's quite easy because single component single drug is there easy to measure uh, all methods are available but how to measure <clears throat> for example if you take ashwagandha it will ashwagandha plant itself will contain uh, more than 100 and uh, the phytochemicals so uh, chinese have done some work uh, but kinetic is not possible but dynamics unfortunately we uh, we are still uh, quite backward we, we can't select the animal in in a comparison to, in ayurveda we, we can select uh, you know those this uh, um, uh, prakriti based uh, categorization can be done in animal also i have seen you know all the animals are not active but you know, nobody has made, uh, not uh, nobody has made uh, any you know uh, scientific uh, uh, attempt to uh, evaluate them so there are hundreds of species of rats we can uh, breed species rats which are dull slow moving and uh, uh, robust like uh, kapha pravarti people and very active and uh, like uh, you know vata prakriti people so ra rat types are available then we need to develop them because this uh, Uh, because of you uh, know uh, extraordinary and exp expertise uh, uh, people have in uh, breeding unfortunately india is very very you know backward in that but in uh, other countries including china they have made tremendous this thing chinese uh, they, they are preparing animals as per their uh, tcm concept but uh, uh, with all this limitation uh, uh, biological uh, you know framework is same so the effect we observe most of the time in uh, uh, animal models get expressed in human beings uh, with rare exceptions thank you sir uh, again next question we have uh, is from dr anil shukla he is asking according to you what is the best experimental model for anti diabetic study for anti diabetic study uh, a combination method you know for type 2 type 2 diabetes uh, uh, nicotinamide plus uh, streptozoxin uh, in our lab what we did uh, this uh, streptozoxin low level plus uh, high fatty diet uh, model it, it works out very well uh, i have got information about some uh, you know 10 15 models if you want i will send it to you okay but i can't uh, I got, though i got in the laptop but i can't explain it in uh, one or two minutes so uh, yeah. uh, best method you know you, you can get the information nicotinamide and uh, streptozoxin in one, one one model or else low dose uh, streptozoxin because high dose streptozoxin produces uh, type 1 diabetes so there will be you know, a drastic destruction of the uh, pancreatic islets so with low level low level uh, multiple injection of uh, uh, streptozoxin plus high fatty diet it produces very good uh, diabetic model which is uh, which was, uh, stays for 11 12, 12 months for long period so if you want to see the diabetic uh, degenerative changes that is uh, one of the best models okay thank you so much sir uh, moving forward we have question again from uh, yogesh kumar pande and he is asking does selection of animal depends upon the system one wants to research or there are specific animal models only for a specific research oh uh, normally you know there are two kinds uh, uh, we have, we got uh, vistar spray dali oldsman so many of them can be used for uh, um, uh, most of the basic research but uh, there are special kind for example if you want to induce uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis vistar rats are not uh, that suitable because uh, they, they don't uh, develop rheumatoid arthritis uh, that easily then spray dolly would be uh, you know much better so like that for many experimentation so uh, this uh, strains are there nowadays they they have uh, uh, you know they, they are supplying you you know specifically bred and maintained animals obese diabetic rats there are under type of obese uh, obese diabetic rats and mice but only thing is they are very costly they they cost you 6 to 7000 thousand in india when they land in, in india so they cost you uh, so much but for other purpose you know uh, in literature you will get so which is for example if you want to induce ulcer or if you want to induce stress stress all uh, uh, stress are uh, you know quite susceptible uh, but uh, uh, for uh, you know in the induction of diabetes uh, we need uh, uh, special care for induction of uh, uh, hyperlipidemia some of the strain they don't develop hyperlipidemia at all Uh, some strain develop it very well so it, like like that depending upon your requirement so species can be selected thank you sir 
and uh, in uh, continuation we have uh, dr sunny over here uh, he is asking which is the best protocol for antihistaminic effect of ayurvedic drugs antihistaminic yes, uh, he needs to clarify whether he wants in vitro uh, in test tube or whether he wants to have uh, uh, in vivo in animals okay so you please ask uh, him because uh, in vitro you can use a uh, uh, no rat intestine uh, uh, and uh, we, we can use a uh, um, uh, marshall degranulator like uh, ionopores and uh, 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 you know certain drugs are there or else uh, we can use uh, isolated uh, you know guinea pig ileum or we can use uh, uh, guinea pig uh, tracheal preparation tracheal especially tracheal spiral is very good so they are all uh, good for uh, you know uh, isolated tissue experiment but in vitro you can use uh, 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 you know we can induce bronchoconstriction in intact animal anesthetic animal and see the effect uh, of giving a histamine if histamine is given it causes uh, you know severe bronchoconstriction especially in uh, uh, guinea pig so many variation or uh, uh, you know refinement of that model is there so that can be used so it's possible to use both uh, you know even cell culture can be used or um, um, uh, isolated uh, mesentery can be used isolated uh, ileum uh, or uh, branchial spiral uh, all of them can be used for this uh, i hope dr sunny got uh, his answer uh, though he has uh, given uh, down the question again that yes in vitro and in vivo both so sir has answered both or so uh, moving forward we have again dr uh, yogesh kumar pande and he is asking that how do we differentiate what animal model we have to select for a research uh, this is a very vague question you know you need you know, what type of research you need to define suppose if you want to see viruddhahara type research well, i already you know, you know explained it so depending upon your requirement we can select a species suppose you want to do toxicity studies you can select any species anti inflammatory you select any analgesic also you can study but for uh, rheumatoid arthritis you need to have uh, carefully select the animals uh, thank you sir and uh, uh, moving forward we have binay sen over here he is asking sir would you please provide some insights on rasayan drug evaluation on experimental model sure 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 i would love to you know cover this aspect uh, if you give me 2 3 minutes i will i'll show that uh, this thing it's okay yeah. dipika can i take 2 3 yeah. minutes yes sir yes sir definitely definitely sir i was about to show it because of uh, uh, that I, i i wanted to show it only at the last that's why i did not you know uh, got into projection okay sir see this is for immuno uh, suppressions so this model indirectly can be used you can uh, uh, inject uh, you know uh, srbc uh, and then uh, 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 srbc induces the uh, um, uh, the antibody formation you can have one group uh, stressed group and uh, inject uh, uh, srbc to stressed group and see what is the effect on the antibody formation so like that impact of uh, stress and antibody formation can be done with this and then of course dipana pachana the basic uh, this thing uh ah. see the, uh, this sorry to interrupt you sir but if you are sharing some slides we are not able to see that uh, okay, i okay, think okay. you have okay yes, okay sir. i i first start... you have to yeah, yes yeah. sir yes sir i'll get into sharing mode okay okay yes yes sir yes sir
uh, are are the uh, you know ppt visible now deepika yes sir yes sir yes sir it is sir okay so these are the, uh, the innumerable uh, innumerable uh, you know uh, methods are available uh, here some important one i will be focusing uh, force swimming uh, stress so what you can do is you can take a glass jar or polystyrene uh, jars uh, put holes on the top and uh, put water up to 70% away so that the animal cannot come up and keep the animal inside if you make it swim for 20 minutes it produces uh, tremendous hypothermia the uh, rectal temperature uh, falls down from 38 to 32 degrees control group if you give uh, anti rhinocyanide drug and if you see uh, uh, you know if the uh, uh, we have seen this with guduji so it reverses this hypothermia to significant extent and if same thing if you keep it for 8 to 9 hours it produces severe gastric ulceration so the, this uh, in this model you can see both the effect on uh, acute stress and uh, uh, you know uh, stress of uh, acute stress of longer duration and shorter duration and uh, you can uh, you can study also in uh, hermetically sealed uh, uh, container i will show that so and then the best one is unpredictable stress protocol yeah so this unpredictable uh, stress so it's for 8 weeks uh, 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 in uh, first 24 hours uh, uh, th th this 8 weeks every week th this is the protocol you have to follow first uh, one 24 hour no food uh, uh, 24 hour uh, no water and uh, uh, 35 minutes cold swimming 12 hours uh, change of cage uh, mate and uh, then 1 minute uh, tail pinch uh, uh, 12 hours overcrowding 12 hours wet bedding uh, and then 4 hours of physical restraint so like that uh, every week uh, this cycle has to be continued for 8 uh, weeks and uh, you can see number of parameters you can see uh, you know biochemical parameters gene expression uh, linked one cytokine expression or oh, what not if you have got facilities uh, you know tremendous uh, tremendous amount of uh, uh, this thing uh, can be you know brought in uh, i think that uh, uh, i have deleted it uh, because to shorten the this thing hermit hermit uh, uh, hermetically uh, sealed uh, bottles you know you can take a bottle say so this is the bottle uh, uh, we, we, where we can close this uh, I, what what actually showing is uh, uh, metabolic uh, cages so you can take a bottle uh, a glass, jar like this and keep the mouse here and closely set the uh, uh, you know top and seal it so the after uh, 20, 5 10 minutes uh, after consuming uh, sufficient uh, oxygen when the oxygen level becomes less here the animal starts uh, you know changes behavior and uh, conversion type of uh, uh, behavior will be shown the moment it starts conversing you can take it out so that uh, you can uh, you, 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 it need not die or else you, some people what they do they will allow uh, uh, and record uh, uh, up to what time they live under this uh, condition this is known as hermetically hermetic hermetically sealed uh, uh, bottle test so these are four uh, simple models uh, i can give you you know full detail about uh, other models also whenever uh, you, are, you require it uh, please note down my you know uh, email so if you want anyone want to directly contact with me so gravishankar2000 at yahoo.com this is my uh, regular uh, email so anybody they are welcome to send their query to me so i uh, whenever i get uh, this thing i will definitely answer as early as possible thank you sir thank you What so you, much Deepika? yes sir thank you sir uh, so uh, in continuation we have a, a question from anuradha roy she is asking uh, is the animal models especially framed for ayurvedic research protocol available to be worked upon sir Uh, at present no we don't have uh, but, but if somebody you know if uh, because uh, uh, demand is less if demand is more uh, i think people will breed uh, specifically for the ayurvedic build field uh, now uh, harlan and uh, all top uh, animal breeders uh, they have started uh, their uh, indian offices so they will supply very good quality only thing is the cost is high in the uh, only thing you need to have uh, some uh, project support Yeah. Uh, so in uh, forward we have uh, dr anuradha uh, 
uh, again no sorry uh, dr anuradha lalotra uh, she is asking could you explain the pharmacodynamics of rasayan dravyas Rasayana uh, dravyas, you know, uh, actually Rasayana dravya is very vast. Whether it is for uh, Vyastapana, whether it is for uh, Vedic Shamatva, uh, or for Langevity, we you need to define that, or only for Medya Rasayana. For Langevity, so, so Langevity, uh, uh, you know, they, uh, uh, two, three, three, four models I can explain to you. One is, uh, you can give the... Uh, uh, drug to uh, regular animals and see how long they live. Or uh, even instead of a rat, you can say Drosophila. Drosophila, that uh, study I have shown to you, Lakotia uh, Saf study, you know, that's very good. So you can uh, use that uh, Drosophila for initial studies. Uh, and uh, of course, if you've got funds, uh, you know, if, uh, if you are able to pay uh, 10 to 20,000 rupees per rat, uh, you can get it from Japan. Japan has got uh, uh, senescence enhanced uh, rats. The rats, uh, uh, they get aged within uh, six months. So they, they, they exhibit all uh, uh, changes that occur in aging. In, in, in aging, three things are there. One is uh, uh, decrease in antioxidant uh, level, increase in the formation of uh, reactive oxygen species, uh, you know, deficiency in the autophagy that, uh, and uh, uh, mild, uh, mild to moderate uh, inflammation. So uh, autophagy is very important to remove all, uh, you know, uh, non-functional, dysfunctional and uh, aberrant cells. Uh, antioxidant system is uh, important to keep the RO level uh, physiologically, uh, you know, uh, at a physiologically useful level. So this inflammation should be uh, at a, a level which is uh, conducive to the uh, you know, benefit of the animal. So like that, if you, you can measure in those animals, uh, 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 antioxidant level, SOD level, catalyzed level like that, and then uh, lipid peroxidation and autophagy. Autophagy, you can study, uh, uh, there are two, three methods are there. And then inflammation, of course, inflammation also you can study with uh, uh, different models. And uh, telomerase, there, that, that's an enzyme is there, which is important. You know, telomerase is one which keeps uh, uh, the chromosome in uh, good condition. So uh, as we age, uh, that the, uh, that its activity gets decreased. You can see, see the effect on telomerase also. So these are the four or five parameters that you can study for, for general listing, the sign. Or else, uh, depending upon the, you know, even every system has got different rasayanas, you know. For that, you need to prepare a separate Thank protocol. You. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. And uh, next we have Dr. Vinamra Sharma, and he's asking that please share your view on in vitro study of herbo mineral formulation with a special reference dose calculation and administration. Okay, okay. Sir, I would request you to uh, please uh, open your video, sir, so that uh, we can see you. No, I, I got some this thing, you know, uh, allergy. That's why I am, I am trying to avoid it. I got <laughs> okay, this. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, sir. Parthenium allergy, you know. I, actually, uh, <laughs> I I need to scratch my face every two three minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, sir. Oh no 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 no! I need, don't feel sorry because uh, to tell the fruit, you know, this parthenium is every is there everywhere, so you can't avoid it. Yes. So I am I'm taking uh, some Ayurvedic drugs uh, from the, uh, they have provided uh, good uh, relief, especially Satadota Grita. Satadota Grita yes. is very good for you know reducing uh, uh, this itching, but sometimes yes, sporadically it's, uh, it uh, gets uh, this thing. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Vinamra, uh, in vitro, right? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In vitro study of herbo mineral formulations, dose calculation and administration. Mm. Yeah. Can uh, can you see the screen? Yeah. So these are the cells which are available. You know. Uh, you want to see general toxicity or only on a certain system? You know? Sir, your screen is not visible. How oh, come? Okay, okay. Again, I will go back to sharing it. 
I thought I'm in a sharing mode. Hmm? Okay. Oh, it is linked. That's why it is not uh, visible. So th this is visible, you know. Deepika, whether the screen is visible now? Deepika, unmute yourself. Okay, okay. Deepika, you are muted. Uh, can you see okay, it now? I'm sorry, sir. Is, no, is, sir. Uh, now? No, sir. So okay. please go back and again uh, start sharing. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Yes, sir. Now it is visible. Okay, okay. Can you see the uh, uh, screen? Yes, sir. Uh, cell type used for in vitro study. So whether yes. you... Uh, 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 whether Dr. Vinam, you, you want to study for general toxicity or only on one particular system? Suppose if you oh. want to study on respiratory, you can choose these three cells line or one of them. Kidney, uh, this uh, cell line. Uh, namaste, sir. namaste, sir. I am Dr. Vinam here. Uh. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you so very informative talks. With the permission of chair, sir, my question is actually many times when we go for the in vitro studies, uh. Uh, it is very difficult to calculate the dose. And uh, especially for the herbal mineral formulation, because it's not soluble. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yes, sir. I, am, I, so I, 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 I want your view because... Uh, for your I, 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 I thought, you know, I will explain with the example. This, Thank you, sir. This is the you. one. The, the, the next problem is adding our drug, you know, uh, uh, whenever you add Basma, it gets settled down. Right? Yes, sir. This is the problem, sir. Uh, only very few this thing, uh, uh, you know, get... Calcium. get yeah, uh, well, well, enters into the cell, so we don't know whether it is due to this thing or whether yes. that uh, uh, whether that uh, uh, if if you add basma, if you don't get any toxicity, most of the time we don't get uh, uh, toxicity. But if you use arsenicals, yes, sir, they get they get absorbed and you see the death. Okay, so uh, if, uh, if you don't see any this thing, at least you can assure that uh, uh, you will not get uh, severe toxicity. So then you can use it in the animals. Uh, uh, and the best thing is, you know, you go by uh, clinical dose. Suppose you are using one rati or two rati, you calculate your animal dose and then uh, use it for in vitro, in, intact animals. And based on that, for in vitro studies also, you should take very uh, minute level. Uh, but another thing we should note is that, you know, basmas, not entirely all of them are, uh, you know, macromolecules. Some of them are nano. Yeah, in, in some of the studies, it has been observed that uh, Suvarna Basma, uh, even 10-20% is uh, uh, nanoparticle. If it is nano, it will definitely get into the cell because uh, uh, it can pass through the um, you know uh, intercellular gap if it is uh, less than 30 nanometer. So some amount of Basma will definitely get in. But if you want, really want to do it, you, you should do this experiment. I'll show you. So you, you have to do the, 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 this exp expression level experiment. So wherein certain dyes are available. So you, you can attach that dye to your drug and see uh, whether it is observed. If it is observed, uh, then it will uh, give you a fluorescence. Uh, that method is, uh, I think it, it has been uh, reported somewhere, but it's very costly and you need to standardize it because uh, there is a protocol, a statistical protocol of normalization. I don't know. I did not understand it properly. So this normal position may skew up our result. It may not be. It may not be giving the real, uh, you know, picture. So at present, we we do not have you know, any satisfactory, you know, this thing. But that's the best we can do. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, moving towards the last portion of the day, and it is from Dr. Uh, Vaishali Eknath Taide, and uh, she's asking, can any Ayurvedic drug is used as hormone replacement therapy? Any in vitro study is there? I, I am not aware. I am not aware of uh, uh, any such preparation which can be used uh, in place of hormones. 
Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So, uh, uh, if anyone is having any more question, they can write it down. Or uh, I think it is uh, all for today. And uh, so, I would uh, thank you so much, sir, for uh, such an enlightening session and uh, for answering each and every questions. And I hope uh, all our listeners are satisfied. So. Uh, and everyone is saying that it's very informative uh, lecture, valuable information. So thank you so much, sir.